The MD-88 is pressurized by two air conditioning packs. An outflow valve is located on the aft fuselage. Regulating the amount of air conditioning exhaust through the outflow valve controls cabin altitude. A butterfly valve is located immediately forward of the outflow valve. The butterfly is normally closed in flight, but fully open on the ground to ensure complete depressurization. The cockpit controls and indicators include an automatic cabin pressurization control panel, pressure gauges, and manual cabin pressure controls. The cabin climb gauge indicates the current rate of change in cabin pressurization. The cabin altitude and differential pressure gauge simultaneously indicates current cabin altitude and the difference between ambient and cabin pressure. The automatic pressure selector and outflow valve are connected by two automatic controllers, Auto 1 controller and Auto 2 controller. Only one controller is engaged at any one time. The identical auto controllers are powered by separate AC buses and engaged by the two position system selector switch. While one controller is engaged, the other acts as a standby unit. If the selected system malfunctions, control automatically transfers to the standby system. The selector switch does not change positions. The landing altitude and landing barometric selectors are used to set the landing airport elevation and barometric pressure. The landing altitude can be set from 1500 feet below sea level to 14,000 feet above sea level. As power is advanced for takeoff, the cabin begins to pressurize. This provides a smooth pressure transition from ground to flight. If takeoff power is selected, but the aircraft is not in the flight mode within 60 seconds, the cabin automatically depressurizes. If a takeoff is aborted, the cabin automatically depressurizes when the throttles are retarded. The automatic controllers are programmed with a scheduled cabin altitude for every airplane altitude. As the airplane and cabin climb, the differential pressure also increases. The maximum normal differential pressure is 8.07 psi and is reached at about 32,000 feet. As the aircraft continues to climb, cabin altitude also climbs. Differential pressure remains at 8.07 psi. The rate limit control establishes the desired limit for cabin rate of change. Setting the control at the index limits cabin rate of climb to 700 feet per minute and rate of descent to 300 feet per minute. While cabin rate limits can be increased or decreased by changing the control's position, it normally remains set at the index.
The rate limit selector only provides the limits at which the cabin will climb or descend, not the actual rate of change. During a normal climb, actual cabin rate of change is usually less than the limits established at the index. Rate of change is automatically adjusted by the auto controller. As the auto controller repositions the outflow valve, the cabin altitude control wheel follows. Cabling connects the control wheel with the outflow valve. The mechanical outflow valve indicator indicates the current position. Takeoff airport elevation is not entered into the pressurization system controls. Therefore, if the airplane returns to the point of departure, landing altitude must be reset to the departure airport elevation. After landing, the outflow valve is driven full open to ensure complete depressurization. The system also performs a self-test of both auto controllers. During the self-test, the selected auto controller's in-op light illuminates, while the standby controller drives the outflow valve fully closed, then back to fully open. The ENOP light extinguishes upon completion of the test. If the active controller fails, a blue ENOP light illuminates to indicate the failed controller. Should both auto controllers fail, both blue ENOP lights and an amber auto ENOP light illuminate. The outflow valve remains in its last controlled position. If automatic pressurization control is an operative, manually control cabin pressurization from the cabin altitude control wheel. Moving the cabin altitude lever to the manual position establishes manual control of the outflow valve and extinguishes the illuminated annunciator lights. To control pressurization, press down on the control wheel and rotate it in the desired direction. The flow light illuminates when a cabin climb rate is detected in conjunction with a closed outflow valve. This normally indicates insufficient air conditioning inflow or excessive fuselage leaks. The light remains illuminated until adequate cabin airflow is attained. If the pressurization system fails to maintain a cabin altitude of 10,000 feet or less, the cabin altitude and master warning lights illuminate. Also, a warning horn and vocal warning sound. Cabin altitude. Negative pressure is relieved by the galley service door seals, passenger entrance door seals, and a negative pressure relief valve installed in the aft pressure bulkhead. Dual positive pressure release valves located aft of the passenger entry door are installed to protect the airplane structure from overpressurization. They fully open at a differential pressure of 8.32 psi.